Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Marquit and this is the Beginner's Guide to Construct 3. In this first video titled Introduction, I want to talk to you guys about why I chose to use the Construct 3 engine and also give you a quick example of what we are about to create in the following nine planned videos. Now, as I said before, I chose this engine for a particular reason. When I was in college, taking my master's degree in game management and production, I had to do research on 2D game engines. And as a college teacher myself, an instructor, I wanted to teach an engine that was useful. So I know, you know, there's Unity out there, there's Unreal. Now, both of them do 2D, but I'm not a huge fan of 2D in either of those engines. So I really wanted an engine. I wanted to choose an engine to teach to my students that was simple and actually worked great. Uh, and after all this research, I kind of found out that Construct was the best option uh, for the things that I wanted. Now, yes, there are a lot of great other game engines out there that do 2D, but I'm going to show you through these videos why this is such a great engine. And one of the reasons why I like it, because I'm a designer and artist and not a programmer, uh, within the Construct uh, Editor, you don't have to know coding. You don't have to know a coding language. Basically, you just have to understand the logic behind coding. But you can see right here, this is known as the event sheet. And within the event sheet, this shows you everything. And I've even named them out. So things like player movement and the cat camera and coins and checkpoints, player death, enemy shooting, and so on, right? And all of this stuff I'll show you just in a moment of how it works, but this is basically how the engine works, right? So a visual scripting system, which actually makes it a lot easier, and I don't have to rely on somebody to help me with coding. I can make my own game, learn a little bit from other people, and still be successful in creating content. So that's why I did it, and also because it has a legitimate free version. Uh, some, of the, some of the editors out there, like Game Maker, now Charge, you can't even have a free version anymore. Um, so that's why I said this was probably our best bet for using, and not probably, but in my opinion, was the best bet uh, for creating 2D games. Now, let me also now show you what we are about to create. Now, the assets in this, we're not going to create the assets themselves, the assets and the, the art, that's something completely different. I actually am using assets from an artist um, that I got on the internet, and I'll actually show you that in the next video, but so we can see real quickly what we're doing I'm going to hit play here, load up this little scene, and you see we have some nice animations on the character, idle, like running, jumping, little particle effects when they land, one-way platforms that we can jump under and land on with a double jump, we can collect coins, and we can see that the UI updates over there, right? We have checkpoints, which in this case are torches that when I touch them, they will spawn, so if I run into the enemy and die, I respawn there, right? Of course, we have enemies, I can shoot enemies, and get this cool kind of line arrow effect in particles, and the other cool thing is these arrows will shoot into the wall and uh, sit there. This is also uh, something that I learned from the artist uh, that I got the uh, I bought the content from. And once again, I'll show you that in the next video. But you got your moving platforms, right? So we can go on there. They're also one way. Um, we have uh, another checkpoint that I landed on, and we can just kind of fall down here. Boom, respawn. And then lastly, I have these. Um, these walls, these destructible walls that you can't run through, but you can shoot and break them. And then we can, you know, right, destroy the enemy, access all the stuff behind here, collect the remaining coins and so on. And then, of course, we're going to learn how to just make the scene itself, like, you know, tile maps and animations and all that other stuff. So this really kind of gives you a great understanding of what we're about to create. Now, the free version only allows you to do 50 events. So unless you pay for it, you're limited to that with a logged in version. And I'm going to uh, basically basically show you how to do all of this, as you can see here, with 42 events. Now, that doesn't leave you a lot to uh, have uh, some extra stuff in there. So if you're interested, I actually will show in an additional video towards the end about how to create a version that is down to 30 events. Right, so we can see right here. So that gives you 20 events to do what you want. And the only major difference is the arrow effect. So I'll expand this out. Everything else is the same, but now the arrows will, you'll actually see them shoot, but you can see how everything else works, right, still. And you'll actually see them shoot, but they won't stick in the wall and you don't get that cool line effect. And that's really the only difference. So if you want to save and uh, kind of add some of your own content, you're more than welcome. And that should be in the last video of the tutorial series or video. 10 uh, to kind of learn about how to do that last part different. Now, the other videos will cover everything you need to know all the way through, but the shooting effect will be uh, different. The one that saves you, that will be video 10. So hopefully these uh, videos will help you guys really understand why Construct 3 is such a powerful engine. So I expect to see you guys in the next video and uh, see you there.